Right, I'm on. I got a rest of the letter for you. Oh, for me? Yep. I signed for you. All right, Fred. Aloha. Goodbye. Uh -huh. <laughs> what you got there, son? Uh, it's a it's a letter from St. Louis. From St. Louis, well, tied up. I ain't got no money to loan nobody. <laughs> no, Pop. Nobody's asking for any money. It, it's, it, uh... Did it come postage due? No. Is it written in crayon? No. <laughs> did it come here on uh, jail stationery? No. Well, that takes care of your mother's side of the family. <laughs> uh, wait, who, who wrote it? Well, it's it's a letter from a lawyer that says he represents your late cousin. Late for what? <laughs> Pop, your cousin George Sanford died. They think he was late then. He's really gonna be late now. <laughs> Look at this, uh, last will and testament. I, George Sanford, being of sound mind. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Something gotta be wrong there. Sound mind? That can't be our cousin, George. Would you let me finish? You know. Being of sound mind and body, since I did not have any children of my own. His body wasn't too sound either, was it? Go ahead. I hereby bequeath to Lamont Sanford the sum of $7,000. $7,000? Uh, poor, poor cousin George. <laughs> He's gone. $7,000 subject to the following conditions. That he marry and have a child, and that the said child be named George Sanford II. See, it is my hope through my cousin Lamont that my name will be perpetrated for at least one more generation. Isn't that something, Pop? Do you believe this, man? Pop? Pop. Pop. Me. A grandfather. George Sanford II. Has a nice ring to it. Sort of like a cash register. Well, just don't go spending that money too soon, Pop, because we gotta think about this. You're right, son. Let's think about it. That's long enough. Now, look. <laughs> Your dear departed cousin George has left you 7,000 big ones. And all you gotta do is have a baby. Look, Pop, I know $7,000 is a lot of money, man, but the thing it's is. It's not I... just the money. See, it's things. It's, 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 it's the color TV. <laughs> it's a Playboy key. It's, it's, it's a new truck. And it's 3,500 trips to the $2 window. <laughs> Not yet it isn't. Just listen to this. If the baby's not born within 12 months, the money will be distributed to charities benefiting black people in America. That money is not going to benefit any black people in America. That money is going to benefit us. <laughs> well, even if I do decide to do it, Pop, that doesn't give me much time, you know. You got nine months. Sometimes you don't need that. <laughs> you need at least nine months unless you're a rabbit. <laughs> no, you don't. What about that, that girl, that Peterson girl that married that guy from Chicago? They wasn't married but four months. And then wham, boom a loom, bam! <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Listen, son, do it. I always wanted me a grandbaby. And I want you to have one, Pop. It's just that I don't want to go rushing into something that I'm going to be sorry for later. You won't be sorry. It's nothing like having somebody home where you can come home to them and sit down with them, and eat with them, and sleep with them, and sit around the table counting money with them. I'm not getting married, man. I'm not ready to give up my freedom. Well, are you ready to give up some of your teeth? <laughs> you get married. I'm not getting married. married. I'm not getting married. You've got to get married. <laughs>